What's going on, everybody? Man's Chris, and welcome back to a post commentary episode of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind. What the heck is going on here? Okay, so right now, you'll see an image pop on the screen. Ooh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's the world map of the Great Sea. Huh, nothing inconspicuous about this map. Well, let's look at this map. Oh, look at all these highlighted squares. They're blue, and one of them has a times two on it. What this is, is the blue chew guide of the game um on uh, the islands marked with the blue square it, it, it indicates there's a blue chew on there with the times two obviously indicating there's two on the island uh in this episode we're going to be going to each of the islands and collecting the rare blue chew jelly from each of the blue chews uh each of the each blue chew only drops one blue chew jelly ever and once you get it it's done forever and you could it'll never drop another blue chew again so without further ado Let's start heading through the squares and grabbing blue chew, shall we? Okay, so the first island we're going to is Star Islands. Ooh, look at this. It's so star-like and such. I believe this is actually where we got the heart piece for the uh, Korok side quest with the whole wilted tree thing you guys saw, I believe, last episode. Um, so you'll see me just go with my items here real quick. I probably should have had this off screen. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so this first shoe is hiding under one of the boulders, actually. Uh, I believe I go with the wrong boulder here because I'm stupid. The guy I was reading said it was under the big boulder, so I immediately thought it was that one. I was like, uh, it's, it's not there. Where is it? I don't know. And then, oh, look, there's another big boulder. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Um, yeah, there's a few shoes I actually accidentally got throughout this playthrough. I'm pretty sure it was two, actually, but for the most part, I do show the ones I got by mistake. But uh, you guys will see, um, as you'll see in a moment here, when I click Blue Chew, you'll see it exit out in the map there, and the map stays there for the whole episode. Alright, next up is Northern Fairy Island. So what we're doing here is we're just following the map from left to right, and we're not going like down a square, then right to left. We're just doing left to right, left to right, left to right, all the way down. So you'll see once we finish off this row here, we'll go back to the, to the left. But that, that's kind of confusing to explain, I know, but that's okay. So yeah, this one's just right by the palm tree. There's a lot of blue chews right by the on the fairy islands, and uh, you've probably heard <laughs> that slow motion, or you probably noticed that sounded different there. That's because, well, I, I I went through the map too quickly. This is the only island in the game that actually, that actually has two blue chews. I guess because it's such a boring island. So I was thinking of doing something different for this X on the map to indicate that I um. <clears throat> you got two blue shoes there, but I just left the times two there instead. Okay, so that was Crescent Moon Island. Now we're on Overlook Island, which is the top right of the screen there. Yeah, this one takes a bit to get up to. The freaking ra raising ocean. I believe this chew is actually... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, it's right at the end of the island, but no, just on a random island. The randomly the second island. Alright, next up, you'll see... We are now on Mother Child Island, so you see we're actually on the um, on the left side of the map again. So this is just on the Child Island, so you can't just teleport in on the Mother Island to get the chew. You gotta come in here with the freaking Korak, the scary ass Korak, the woodland creature. You'll see it take me a second to figure out where this this asshole is too. There we go. I don't. It's weird. They don't sometimes don't always spawn when you'd think they would. Yay! So there we go. Now, just one island to the right, so we're on Spectacle Island. One thing I did kind of mess up a bit on here. Oh, this is where the glitch happens. Is I, I don't always go at the same pace when opening the map, so that's a bit weird sometimes. Okay, well, watch this. I'll kill this Chew. The Chew Jelly went, like, through the bridge. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even notice that before. I wonder if it stood up there still. Because I walked around the island for a little bit and I couldn't find it, so I assumed it fell through the world, but... Huh. Wow, I never even noticed that till just watching it right now. Next up is Pawprint Island. So this island is crazy, man. Because this is where the, the Chew Jelly Maker and Windfall Island comes. Because, you know, this is one square right to the to Windfall. He comes and collects Chew here. But he was always talking about how there's no blue Chew Jelly or anything here. But if we, if we actually do a backflip on this. And this is I actually never knew. There's a blue Chew up here. Isn't that weird? I thought that was really strange, man. If you do a backflip on the other little Chew statue there, it gives you, uh, I believe, like 10 rupees or 20 rupees or something. Next up is Western Fairy Island. And as per usual, this one's just going to be near the palm tree. <coughs> I guess they added these to 
the fairy island just to make it more make them more like less useless I guess <laughs> make them more exciting other than just coming here to get a fairy and that's it next up is rock spire yeah rock spire island I was like wait did we just did I just say that no we're on a fairy island silly this one you gotta destroy all the boulders on the builders and uh, that's definitely much easier using the ship to destroy the boulders and trying to time out throwing your bombs I don't know what I did the first time I came here Arise and strump across. I really don't understand how grass possibly grows under these boulders. Oh, silly game physics. The grass should be dead. <clears throat> Leave the chews up here. Yeah, right the end of the island overlooking the ocean. Ooh, ah. Yeah. Are you. Oh, I was going to say, are you serious? I didn't cut this out. I thought it put me at the beginning of the island, but no, that wouldn't make sense. There we go. I did it. Next up, one square to the right again, is uh, Tingle Island. Yay! Tingle, tingle. Alright, get out there, Link. Get out there. And I believe this blue... Yeah, this one's actually a bit annoying to find sometimes, too. It's weird to try and get it to trigger. I, yeah, it's like by the sign, but it doesn't always pop up right away. And yep, that's it for that one. Next up is... Eastern Fairy Island! Yay! You guys are never gonna guess where this one is. Spoilers, it's by the palm tree. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, dang it, I was gonna say something, but now I forget what I was gonna say. All curses foiled again. There's one after this, too, is on a fairy island. It's weird, they get really spread out. Like, look at the next row after this one. There's only one square, and it's all the way at the edge. Next up is Eastern Fairy Island. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the role where there's only one blue chew. Oh yeah, I know what I was gonna say earlier. It's weird to me that they don't just put a blue chew on every single island, right? It's, it's like why not? I mean, there's a limited amount of blue chews in the game. You might as well just make it so every island has one. I don't know. I always thought that was a bit strange. Right, that was oh that was, that was an Eastern. That was Thorn Fairy Island. Yeah. Yeah, because this is Needle Rock. <clears throat> this one actually took two tries. I actually took like three tries. Because I could not find this chew. I walked around the entire island, then I finally found it. Then I decided to just go on my ship and sail away and sail back to make it look like it's my first time to the island. <laughs> yeah, that happened a few times with these islands where I would go on it and there'd be like an obstacle course. This is now Stonewatch Island. Um, where yeah, I, I, I like mess something up and I would just go, oh, I like jump in my boat, sail out a little bit, and sail back. Ooh. That's my impression of Link getting up in the morning. Or actually, just crawling up the rocks. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Chu, I know you're around here somewhere. It's like, why isn't it spawning? I feel like I walked by that area like twice. I don't freaking know, man. There we go, I did it. I did it. I did it. Hooray. Right, Bird's Peak Rock. Oh yeah, this one. There's a few coming up here that I really obnoxious to get to, and I totally tried to climb up the wrong side there. It's hard to tell, because that totally looks like it's at an angle when you look at it the way I was. But no, it's just a straight rock face. Blue Chew's actually up here. We did this once before when we came here to... <clears throat> uh, we came here once before to... Um, get a seagull to fly and hit all the switches. If you guys remember all those rocks to the left there. There's also a blue chew up here. Yay! I think that's the only reason why you actually need to come up here. I think I just came up here just to see what was up here last time. Next up is Diamond Step Island or Steep Island. S T E P P E. However you would pronounce that. I don't freaking know. It's probably, I feel like it's like step for some reason or steep. Maybe steep. Yeah, that sounds right to me. <laughs> There's another island where I had to like sail back and forth like twice because I couldn't find the stupid chew. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, I did cut that out, right? Yay, I totally did. Haha. -ha. Alright, this next one is a bit of a pain. It is. Probably could have cut that a bit sooner. Shark Island. So this one. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you. I think I came here uh, a while ago, and then I failed trying to get back, trying to get up to the top of this island. Because so what you gotta do on this island is you gotta hit all four switches. 
And I think I did hit all four switches, and then I accidentally like fell in a hole or something. If I recall correctly, I don't know. I'm gonna go over here. I try to do this all MLG pro like, and of course I missed the freaking switch. <laughs> I was gonna initially gonna like use my bow and arrow and shoot that switch, but I was like, eh, I should probably just get over here and hit it with my sword, my sword. Whoa! Yeah. So this is a lot of work for just the blue chew. If I'm honest, but pff, whatever. <laughs> There you go. Yay, so it makes a whirlwind appear for whatever reason. And they're gonna wanna use the wind. Oh really, that was the first time I used the wind's requiem in this recording. Huh. That's weird. So we're gonna shoot the wind that away. <coughs> right towards the island where we eventually wanna get on. It's weird, because you see that whirlwind and you're like, I wonder what the heck to do with that. But no, I, I guess it is pretty obvious. I should have put the boat in there, that would have been awesome. Ah. Oh. Regrets. Oh, yeah, it always looks like you're just gonna barely miss it. I think you could probably do this with this without the upgraded magic, right? Maybe I tried it without the upgraded magic, and I ran out of magic, and that was my issue. I don't know. There we go. There's our long, convoluted chew. <laughs> Let's try something even more difficult, shall we? Southern Fairy Islands. Oh, the difficulty. Oh man. It's totally not just gonna be beside a palm tree or anything. No, <laughs> that'd be redonk a donk, man. Don't be redonk a donk. Yay! You guys like my hero's charm showing the health bar of the chews? I think it's pretty cool. Jeez, man. Oh no, this next one. I think it's the next one, actually. I think. Angular. Nope. Cliff Plateau Isles. Yep, this is the one. <coughs> This is diff this is like one of the Shark Island ones. That's weird. They put all the annoying ones towards the end here. We actually have to go through the entire island because the Chew is actually on the biggest island, and the only way to get to that island is by going through this tunnel. We actually just did this a few episodes ago when we did the Korok side quest. Was that the last episode? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm so confused. So this is another thing I actually failed at a whole bunch of times. When I would always I'd make this first jump. I'd make the second jump. And then this last jump here, if I can ever climb up there, come on, dude. This jump right here, I would always miss it for some reason. I don't know why. So every time I had to like go, Ugh, I would have to leave the island and come back <laughs> and re-record as if nothing happened. Just to keep it as smooth recording as possible. So this won't be a 30 hour long video, like freaking some of my other videos have been lately. Anyway, right, getting close here. <clears throat> it's just weird to me like how some of these blue chews take a lot more work than others But then again, I guess they don't expect players to come back just for the chews and just collect them as the game goes on But no, that's not the what's playing spirit. No Yay All right, so I believe it's right by the tree here. There we go so There we go. That was the last really annoying one. I believe I believe I believe I believe there we go, we're on the last row now, actually. Next up is Horseshoe Island, the golf course, if you guys remember that. This one's actually interesting, because the guy that I read, um, it said this chew could only be found at night, and then I proceeded to look up other guys to see if that was true, because it's weird, because this is the only blue chew where it said that it could only show up at night. I'm pretty dang sure I, um, it ends up day or something by the time, I think it is day right now, actually. All I know is I definitely confirmed that this chew does appear during the day. So I don't know what the heck this, these guys are talking about. Maybe they're talking about the original game and that happened in the original in the original game for some reason. But that's weird. Why would they change? Why would that one chew? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's weird, man. Oh no, get that nut in. <laughs> get it. It's a sexual reference. <sighs> Alright, oh god, that sea hat. Yeah, see, it's daytime right now. It's definitely daytime. And there you go, getting that chew during the day. So, in your face, guide! I proved you wrong. That's why I don't believe anything on the internet. But believe me all the time. <laughs> Next up is the Angular Isles. Uh, oh yeah, this one. Well, this one's not bad. I mean, it's not as easy as, like, say, the Fairy Islands. Or just by a palm tree right at the base of the islands. But this one is pretty freaking easy. All you gotta do is just climb up to this top island here. For some reason, I thought it was on the small island that you had a Deku Leaf to. But no, that is not true. <clears throat> I really do like this island. It's just so 
I don't know, just like really industrial looking. I mean, I don't know why. It's not like there's a bunch of like steel boxes just sitting around for no reason, but. <laughs> nope. Try again, Link. Gotta push that block. Oh, almost made that jump. <clears throat> oh, come on. You can do it. This should actually give me a bit of trouble as well. You'll see them. What the heck? What was that in the ocean there? That was weird. <clears throat> I keep. Yeah, it's. I keep like sidling when I keep meaning to grab, and it's weird. Actually, I, no, I think I kept trying to grab that block for some reason. It's like, oh, I need to grab this block. Oh, I'm so silly. Anyways, she's by the treasure chest here. Like, yay, I did it. Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> Dang it, that's why I hate getting twos on these ledges like that, because there's always a chance of them falling. And thankfully, it didn't fall in the ocean. And almost did, and almost lost it too. And finally, the bowling course. So this one, you actually have to get on the main island here with the dude guy. The very Native American looking dude. And then you gotta sail across with the leaf, the Deku leaf. I believe we got another uh, treasure chest or special chart or something. I think it was a special chart actually. Probably gotta change the wind here. <clears throat> yeah, I totally do. Gosh darns it. Yay! Oh, what the heck? Why did I change it that way for? <clears throat> I don't know, man. There, north. Do it. Do it. It's weird that it's pointing north to me. I always think the island's pointing to the east. I don't know why. Random fi fine facts with Chris. I don't know why it's fine facts, not fun facts. It's true, Ali appears on the rock. Whenever you see twos, I always think they're going to like appear in the grass. That makes sense for them to live there, but nope. Anyways, that's the last two of the game. There is 23 in the game, and we now have all 23. Yay! I never made note of the ones I actually had already collected, and it just gave me uh, rupees. I obviously just killed them just for effect still. Um, going back in here. This is the blue chew, or the chew shop in general, really the potion shop. Hello, hello, hello again. See my wares. Farewell. Probably should have done that text a bit slower. <coughs> Gasp! Is that could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me two jelly? Hmm. Oh ho! Ah, this extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating jelly development! I've never seen one of this particular hue on Pauprin Island, a small toll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. For when it comes to making potions, I'm a true artist. I have been shown something I'm rare. Inspiration bubbles up within me. So yeah, he says there's there's none of these guys. Oh, wait for it. Here comes. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's the spe sparkle I was looking for. The sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka. Yay. I'm going to use this true jelly to create a brand new unheard of kind of potion. It's been 10 years since I've begun my now legendary studies of the chew. I must begin mixing my new potion before my first inspiration in years vanishes. That's not true. You made the other potions too recently. <gasps> it's Heisenberg! But, um, yeah, it's weird that he says that there, uh, there's no blue chews on Paul Island, because there is. It's just a secret blue chew. Oh, man. What a brilliant concoction. Oh no, his glasses came off. He got chemicals in his eyes. I'm sure he's gonna go blind and die. It's it's ready at last, my new chew jelly concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have the first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. Yeah, you got some blue potion. It restores all life and energy. La dee doo! My next project is create a griping advertisement for a new potion. You come back at any time. He never does that advertisement. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's take a sip of this potion. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's like grandma soup, except it's only one serving, so it's not even as great as the free grandma soup you get. Gasp! Is that could it possibly be? Did you bring, by chance bring me two jelly? So yeah, he takes five of them. Wherever you give him five, he gives you a free potion. You can also just buy the potion, so you don't need the blue jelly. You just re you really just need five. At that point on, you just you know get it for free. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I don't really have enough time to do a proper intro, so if you guys enjoy the video, best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe, and already. My name is Chris. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!